This is your CBS 46 News update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Right now, the U.S. Capitol is secure after thousands of President Trump supporters rushed barricades earlier today where Congress where the Congress was counting the electoral college results that will certify Joe Biden's win. One of the women who was shot has died. It comes after President Trump gave a speech claiming to have won a second term. President Trump released a message telling his supporters to go home ahead of the 6 p.m. curfew in that area. The curfew will remain in, in effect until 6 a.m. Stay connected to our CBS 46 app for updates. Meanwhile, in the Senate runoff election, now Senator-elect Reverend Raphael Warnock is headed to Washington, D.C. His victory over Republican incumbent Senator Kelly Leffler means he will become Georgia's first African-American senator. Although the race has been called, Senator Leffler has yet to concede. Congressional Democrats are celebrating, saying they have majority control. Also today, CBS News confirms that Democrat John Ossoff has won, beating incumbent Senator David Perdue for the U.S. Senate seat. He will continue. We will continue to update you on this developing story. Meanwhile, President-elect Joe Biden announcing who he will pick for Attorney General. Judge Merrick Garland has been chosen for the job and has been a top contender. Now concerns about the vacancy on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia is growing from Biden and his advisors. They are worried Senate Republicans would block any nomination to that seat. Now to the latest on the coronavirus in our state. Cases are still on the rise. In the last 24 hours, more than 6,000 new cases were reported and almost 70 additional deaths, bringing the death toll to just under 10,000. The Georgia Health Department is tracking a new highly contagious strain of COVID-19. The strain was first detected in Britain, but has now spread to at least five U.S. states, including Georgia. Here's what we know. The Department of Public Health says the infected person is an 18-year-old who has not been out of the country or recently traveled. Health officials found the new strain while analyzing lab samples from the man. They're currently working to find other people who may have come into contact with them. Now to a CBS 46 crime alert. Right now, a 23-year-old man is recovering after he was shot in the leg. It happened at the Ivory Restaurant on Whitehall Street in Atlanta. According to the victim, after a fight broke out, someone started shooting in the parking lot. And were yet if Atlanta police have arrested the person responsible. Today, U.S. Marshals uh, arrest a, from the Fugitive Task Force arrested Daquan Reed, and he is now in custody outside of Norfolk, Virginia. Reed is accused of shooting and killing seven-year-old Kennedy Maxey, who was inside of a car with her family driving through Buckhead. Reed is from Virginia, and court records from Norfolk show he's on probation in connection with another shooting in that state. Today is the beginning of Mardi Gras season, and because of the coronavirus, the celebrations will look a lot different in New Orleans. This year, there won't be any traditional carnival parades in the city, but one group has created a series of live scenes that people will be able to see while driving in their vehicles. Mardi Gras ends on Fat Tuesday, which falls on February 16th. Big changes tomorrow will be cloudy, dry when you wake up, but rain showers arrive in the afternoon after 3 p.m. So before 3 p.m. it will be dry after 3 that rain arrives. It's all part of a system that's moving in from the west. It will be a very cold rain highs only in the 40s Thursday afternoon. Then overnight as we head from Thursday night into Saturday, it will be very close to freezing in the North Georgia mountains, and that's where we could see a rain snow mix elevations above 2000 feet could see one to two inches of snow. No snow expected here in Metro Atlanta, but we will see that cold rain throughout the afternoon Thursday into Friday morning. We do get a break this weekend, although remaining cool. Lots of 40s this week, so keep those jackets handy. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Homes, Atlanta's one day bath remodeler.